in this lecture we are going to learn about instruction and data binding in operating system so this is a very important concept so when you write a code so your code has data okay and it has some instructions in it now when it is to be executed it needs to come into the main memory okay so it needs to come into your main memory which is this one and what happens is what are the ways in which we can load the code okay so this is the memory and these are 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 11 12 13 14 15 so let's say sir we have a very small memory of our computer that has 16 memory locations and whatever code we put so those need to be put in this main memory so that your cpu can execute it so first of all we know that we have today multi programming computers okay so what happens they will be running parallelly it means that they all need to be in your main memory okay so let's say there are programs p1 p2 p3 they are in your memory so one thing that can happen is let's say this size is it requires this is a very trivial toy example so six memory locations okay this one requires five and this one two so now first way is that okay let's allocate contiguous memory locations to them so we can give p1 let's say from 0 to 5 this is p1 from 6 to 10 we give to p2 and last to 14 and 15 we give to p3 so these will be running parallelly now and they are all in the main memory okay now the thing is this is how multi-programming happens but when we compile the code okay so it means all the lines of the code that are there they are assigned some memory locations okay so instructions and data they need to be mapped to your memory okay that okay where should we start what like if i have four lines of code in my uh, four lines of instructions in my code on which memory locations they need to be put so these can be done first is the compile time okay so compile time is what okay so let's try to see the first one that is compile time let's say I have some code okay so let's say I have add r15 okay then I do subtract r24 then move r1 to some memory okay so this is some small piece of assembly language code which might not be very correct but let's say these are some instructions and your assembler tries to assemble these code so there are three lines of code they need to be put in your memory so first way is your compile time okay address binding in this what happens the compiler itself will decide that okay this needs to put be put in memory location 0 this line will be in memory location 1 this will be in memory location 2 okay so this is 0 1 2 again so let's say till 15 it is there so now when we copy so i will just know that okay the compiler itself will compile and tell you that okay this line you put it at line number the memory location zero this one at memory location one third one at memory location two so when the cpu brings it into the main memory it will say that okay your add r1 comma s will be here subtract r2 comma 4 will be here and move r1 to some memory location will be on the third on memory location 2 now this is good means your compiler itself assembler itself is telling where your program should reside in the main memory 
but the problem is let's say again in your multi programming environment what happens is a lot of people are writing code okay different applications are running now the thing is two people okay two different programmers they both give compile time binding of addresses another one also has some code okay like okay again add r5 comma 7 he is just adding okay r2 comma 5 and add r3 1 okay so this now again he tells that okay write it at 0 1 2 these are the locations at which i need to put it in the main memory but now you see and these programmers or the coders they are independent okay so they don't know that okay he is writing a code which requires to be put at location number zero and so on so in that case there will be collision so one thing is that this code might be overwritten if it was loaded in the main memory after the code one or it will not be allowed so, okay so anyway collision will occur then there will be problems and your multi-programming cannot be supported very easily in your compile time because there will be what will be needed is coordination coordination among all the different programs okay that okay if i have taken this you take you cannot take this and that should happen at the compile time itself so this concept does not scale well okay so when there if you have just one program that is to be run in your main memory then it is fine i can uh, there are space from 0 to 15 is available my only constraint is that my code should not have more than 16 lines uh, and then i can put it anywhere wherever it will fit okay so if three lines of code were there i can put it from line 7 8 9 and anywhere okay but the thing is if many programmers are there then there is good chance that those memories those lines will collide okay so this is the problem with compile time address instruction and data binding. So next thing that we will see is the load time relocation. Okay. So this helps in removing the first problem again. So what happens here is we have some code. So those codes now can be relocated. So let's see what happens again seeing the previous example. The compiler tells that okay these are the addresses that need to be given to your code okay that this first line will have address 0 second one will have one third one will have two and so on but what your memory management unit will do that it will use a relocation register okay so relocation register what it does that I have now I will just write program one and it's line one okay so line one one line one two line one three is for first code program one or p2 line two one line two two line two three and line two four so second code is of four lines okay so now when the compiler is compiling this code it will say that okay zero one two these are the line numbers memory addresses you need to give it here it will say that okay 0 1 2 3 these are the addresses you need to give but what will happen let's say this was loaded into your memory for the first time so there will be a relocation register for the programs and what it will say that okay first program let's say it has a relocation register value of 4 then what will happen so this relocation register value plus so memory assignment will be plus whatever be the value here okay so plus this let us call this as offset so these will become offset and for l11 will be written at let's say relocation register was 4 so l11 will be written here which is 4 plus 0 l12 will be written as relocation register plus offset 4 plus 1 5 and l13 will be written as 4 plus 2 offset L13 okay so this will be your program 1 now what happens to remove collision again it knows that your this is the base address this is called the base address this one will be your base 
and here the code ends your limit this is the limit so each process has the base and its limit so it knows that okay this is the place where all the code will be there and when your program p1 is running it can never execute anything or access anything beyond the region of base and base plus limit now when p2 is to be executed it will come and it needs some other relocation okay so because now if i have something anywhere if i have start p2 into bring it into the main memory at lines 4 5 6 then there will be intersection and there will be problem okay so what we do is that we now have a relocation register for the program 2 which will be let's say 11 so now what happens your first line for p2 will be 11 l21 l22 will be at 11 plus 1 l23 will be at 11 plus 2 and l24 will be at 11 plus 3 so this will be your p2 similarly if i have p3 and if that is of l31 l32 l33 and l34 then i can accommodate it i can make relocation register 3 is equal to 7 that is also fine i can make rr3 is equal to 0 that is fine but if you have l35 also five lines of code here then it will not fit in in the main memory okay so there will be problems but otherwise if it is less than or equal to 4 i can fit it here by using relocation register so this is load time address binding instruction binding the last one is execution time binding okay or dynamic binding so here what happens is uh, that now if we have some code let's say a very big code and it has lot of libraries okay so it has lot of libraries and few of them are seldom used okay so some exception handling code which never usually comes but to make your code very reliable we have all those cases now what happens is because the code has become very huge okay so last time we also had a problem that okay if our third program was greater than five four lines then it would not have fit into the memory so here also in these case dynamic binding helps okay so how it helps so the thing is we have now code let's say it has lot of modules object one object two object three okay and so on they are have shared libraries here okay and your function what happens is we bring the function or something that needs to be executed only when the function is called then we bring that library into our main memory and then that code is executed okay so some main code will be there okay so let's say our program 5 has the main part of the code let's say l51 l52 l53 l54 so they will be brought into the memory okay now what happens is that something some exceptions happen here or something very infrequent that is called okay so then we see that okay it is called then we know that okay it is in the disk now so now what we do is we might load it into the memory here okay so this is dynamic binding and then at the execution time we can load it so that's about the compile time load time okay and then the dynamic loading so here this saves space for you okay not everything from your code needs to be loaded into the main memory okay so it saves space and it's helpful also and it's a dynamic memory location okay so at execution time i know that okay if something is executed i will bring that code into the memory execute it then we might put that back okay so that is there and it's helpful when there are some very infrequent executions libraries are there which needs to be 
executed sometimes only very infrequently so this is there for our instruction and data binding and operating system so i hope you understand this thanks a lot